I'm just going to say a word here because I don't have very much time. This little Bible was done by a brilliant Polish Jewish linguist named Aaron Krellenbaum. And he was in England, in the east side of London. And he served the Lord. And he studied the Greek New Testament. And he put it in Yiddish. And he did not even put a copyright on it. It became public domain immediately. And now, 72 years later, because he was not selfish with it, because he gave it away because he didn't want to make money off of it. Uh, and because as intellectual property, he simply said, this is the Lord's word. I give it back to the Lord. Well, you know, I was only six years old when he did this, but uh, now I'm 78 almost. And what I'm doing is I'm going through some of these words have become a little dated. A word that meant something that you would use in the New Testament now means donut or whatever. Mm. Because words change. Mm. And so I have to make sure that his vocabulary is in the Yiddish dictionary. And you know what? Most of it is, but some of it isn't. So I have to check every word. But what I'm basically doing by the help of the Lord is bringing his work back to life because it is the base text for the translation that will be with the United Bible Society. And I just want to read this once again. And basically, here's the word I want to give you. Seek first the kingdom of God and his interests, his righteousness what he wants, and all these other things will be added unto you. Now, on Sunday, I'm going to have to go down to the uh, to the uh, building. I'm going to have to put all this away and do some things that maybe may not seem to me as high priority. Uh, but you know what? God will actually help me to do this work even faster if I don't neglect my my duties. Yes, if I'm supposed to be somewhere as a ordained minister, if I'm supposed to preach somewhere, if, I, if there's a child that I can't neglect that Linda needs to give a little Bible study to, if I treat that as a priority, what does it say? I'll, I'll repeat it. Seek first the kingdom of God and his interests, and all these other things will be added to you as well. And, and you know what? It says, and I'm going to read it one more time. If we ask anything according to his will, then we know we have the petitions that we ask of him. And, and, uh, Lord, right now, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I just lift up this little Brit Hadashah, which was translated only four years after the end of World War II, when those living skeletons in the death camps in places that I visited as a young man, uh, in places in Poland or Germany or other places where Jewish people were walking around as living skeletons with tattoos on their arms. And when Eisenhower and Patton opened those camps, they were appalled to see this level of human suffering. But this was the language that these, these Holocaust survivors were speaking so that their Nazi guards couldn't hear or understand what they were saying. And now this is the language of a growing segment of the Jewish people, which may well be the future face of Judaism. 
It is not a dead language like Latin. These growing Hasidic homes with, with 10 children, everyone speaking Yiddish. Uh, these uh, are a portent of the future of this language. And so Lord, right now we just ask you to help us to put this, this, this Aaron Krillenbaum uh, updated Yiddish New Testament all over the world. That it will be seen by Bible translators in the jungles, that it will be noticed in Europe, that it will be seen everywhere. Help me, Lord, who am I to do this work? It is far too hard for me. I have to depend upon the Lord to help me, but he will. And when this man, when I was only six years old, made this translation, and if you'll notice at the beginning of it, there's no C with a circle around it. There's no copyright. He made sure he didn't copyright it. He did not want anybody not to be able to print it or copy it or make copies of it because he did this so unselfishly and went on to glory. Yes. The Lord knew about a little six-year-old first grader just when this Bible was printed, that this six-year-old first grader over 70 years later would be able, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. to update this translation and keep it alive for another two or 300 years or till the Lord comes. And hallelujah, when we yes. seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. he gives us all these other things as well. So this man's work is not dead. It's not dated. It's going to be alive again by the grace of God. And Lord, we want to thank you for all you're doing for the Jewish people to watch over them, to keep them alive, so that even if there is a great tribulation, they still live Israel high and they will get this Bible and they will come to salvation and a great Jewish revival will occur and the 170 and the 144,000 will be using Bibles like this to go to the ends of the earth preaching the good news and we give them all the praise yes, and everybody said amen, amen.